Guys, hit that like button down below in five seconds if you want to get the Aquaman skin in Fortnite as well as his back bling. All right, guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. And in this one, we have got a ton of challenges and things to talk about. New ones just got released in game. So I'm going to be showing you how to do them. And of course, that means how to unlock the Aquaman back bling. It is a brand new item and you can fully unlock it today. So I'm going to be showing you how on top of a bunch of other stuff as well to help you get a bunch of things so it's going to be a very fun video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications for more videos like this keeping you in the know with free rewards and things like that and on top of that if you want to help support the channel be sure to use code the llamaser in the item shop as an epic partner that helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it here all right guys let's hop into game here and get started with these challenges so first up we have got the challenge complete a lap at motorboat mayhem so where exactly is that how do you do it let's show you guys first of all you're going to want to hop into team rumble makes it super easy to get this challenge done so now that we're in the match the basic location that you want to go to get this done is right over here to the north of misty meadows right there that is the spot now we are on the opposite side so we're just gonna glide on over there so guys this location right here is specifically the motorboat mayhem area so that means we just need to find a motorboat and start the track in order to get it done. So yeah, to do that, you want to find one of the boats. There's a bunch of them around here. We're just going to grab this one right here or not. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got it. And then you want to bring it over to this area. It will start the timer. Now this is going to be a little bit tough if there's other people here like enemies because you have to wait the 15 seconds and not get eliminated. But luckily for us, nobody seems to really be over here. So we should be good. So there we go. Three, two, one. It's going to start and then you're going to go out here and follow the rings you want to go over the ramp and stuff like that okay we barely got it but we did make it happen so there we go go through the next one then we got to hit this jump right here boom just like that just oh no we missed it all right so we got to go back through here got to go through it the right way okay wait why isn't it letting us go through it okay that's a little bit weird but i guess we just follow along here and there we go it fixed itself that is weird but now on this one sort of doing a figure eight type thing gonna boost through there get this ring over in this area or I guess not some of them don't really work that's all right we're making it through the home stretch here get that one or some of them don't actually count that's okay but we keep following and then we're going to go through there and complete a lap the fireworks go off and that's how you know you've completed it now moving on here to another challenge right away since we're in the general area this is the one where you have to collect floating rings at Pleasant Park I'm pretty sure it is four floating rings so let's go ahead and just hop into that one right away since it is a fairly tough one if you don't know where the specific locations are. So as you can see, here we are at the Pleasant Park location up at the top left, or sort of top left of the map, in that general area. You guys know what I mean. So first things first, you're going to want to go to either one of two locations, the first of which is over here, so we're just going to start there, and the second of which is over on the other side of that greenhouse. So let's just go to this one right here. As you can see, this is already showing up, but we can't collect it. Since I'm recording this a little bit early but that's all right that is the first uh floating ring that you need to collect after that you're going to need to go up the zip line to the second one up on top of the whatever this thing is right here the wind turbine so yeah there's the second one you can see it right there then after that you're going to use the zip line again and just keep going around on the zip lines that's basically how this challenge is set up oh no the storm is chasing us too we're all right we're making it but escape there to the third one there it is easy peasy then hop on the zip line again and you'll be able to get the fourth and final one all the way over here just like that we can find it so yeah that is the fourth one that you need and that will complete the challenge for you but keeping it going here guys let's move on to another challenge so basically this is the challenge where you have to collect metal at rickety rig and this one's fairly simple but obviously rickety rig is down here at this general area you can go anywhere around there in order to get it done however i would definitely recommend going over to either this main building right here or the big main building over in that area because you can go to these like rooftops and as you can see they get you a lot of metal each and all of the walls and since we're in team rumble as well we have the increased farm rate so definitely do this in team rumble because it'll get you done with the challenge even faster than in the core modes which is an awesome tip that didn't give us too much metal for that wall right there this floor piece gave us 20 but this entire building is made out of metal so it's really not even a problem even these floors are made out of metal that gave us 30 these 
these floors are actually super solid for metal so go ahead and break all of those and just like that we have got 200 and that will be that challenge nothing too tough with that one however let's move on to a tougher challenge which is to dance on camera in sweaty sand so for that one i'm going to go ahead and hop into another team rumble match so here we are in the game and obviously you guys know where sweaty sands is it is all the way up here easy peasy right in that location and as for the specific spot of the camera i gotta remember where it is i'm kind of forgetting but we'll head down there and find it so jump out of the battle bus and let's go now i feel like i kind of remember hmm i think it's maybe at this main area right there yeah i kind of got to remember here i think it was over here oh wait i think i see it yeah i see it over there let's go guys we already found the location of the dance in front of the camera spot as you can see we have got one right here with jonesy we have got the dance pad right over in this area and then you have got the camera right here which is super cool you can break it though which is kind of funny all you need to do is use an emote for 10 seconds and dance just like that hopefully you don't get a Eliminated. hopefully it's on your side of the map but just like that you know that's around 10 seconds but that'll be how you get that challenge done which is a bit of a tough one but once you know the location it is fairly simple now next up we have got a fairly interesting challenge that is to search chests or sorry search ammo boxes at steamy stacks so i want to show you a location that is great for this so obviously steamy stacks is over in this location and since the water level has gone down even more it makes it even easier to find the ammo boxes now the spot that i I would recommend going once you're here is towards this back building because this back building has a lot of stuff in it these ones are they have a decent amount but they're a little bit confusing this one's a bit more you know organized and things like that especially if you go down here first well now it's like completely messed up from all of the water but i'm pretty sure there's ammo box spawns in here like i think one spawns on here we didn't get lucky with that one spawning they are a bit random when they decide to spawn but going up into the top we've got one right there and keep looking around here again they are a little bit random um, go down here there's one on top of this box as you can see look around a little more under the stairs we have got our third one so yeah keep looking around there generally it should have more ammo boxes than that we got a little bit unlucky i'll just show you as a quick example going through this area there we go got one on the shelf got another one up here then in the main building there is one in this kitchen and finally there is one on top of this desk as well so that makes seven. Oh, and there's one over here as well so this main building does have a bunch too but moving on here guys let's talk about a specific aquaman type challenge this is the one where you have to complete the swimming time trial at dirty docks so for this one we're just going to go ahead and hop into team rumble so now that we are in a match the specific spot that we are going to need to go to obviously is dirty docks but that's not a uh, named location so in order to get that done you're going to need to go all the way up here to the right side in this spot that is where the dirty that is where dirty docks is so gliding on down here guys Specifically, you're going to be looking for like a blue timer. You're going to go up to it. You may have to use your use button in order to start the time trial. Now, the specific area that this icon hasn't quite shown up yet. So just glide on over here. It'll be pretty easy to spot, possibly over in this area, but also the water is going to be going down. So it might be more out in this general area. Either way, you're just going to need to find it. Start the... We got a guy over here, apparently. You're going to want to start the... Ha! <laughs> All right, I don't know why somebody would land over there. That's annoying, but uh, yeah, going into a replay quick. Start the time trial and then swim around the water. You, the little icons will show up. You're just going to need to collect them all before the time runs out, and that will complete that challenge. Now, that will unlock you the Aquaman back bling. It is this back bling right here. Pretty interesting stuff, so you know, might as well pick it up. Also with that, we have got the pickaxe to talk about, but that will be next week. We'll be able to fully unlock that. That. But keeping it going here guys, we have got a few more challenges to cover in today's video, but these last three are fairly easy, so we're just going to knock them out very quick. And starting it out here, you have got eliminations at Holly Hedges. So again, these are very straightforward and that's pretty simple, but the best way to get it done is to just hop into solo. It may take a few tries, but that way you can get it done very fast. There's pretty much always going to be somebody at Holly Hedges in solo. Similarly, another really easy challenge is to search chests at Salty Springs. I'm sure 
sure you guys have landed Salty Springs a bunch, so you probably already know where the chests are, making it very easy. However, I would recommend going to the houses that generally have two chests. Do that in like Team Rumble, it'll make it super simple. Keeping it going here, you also have the challenge land at Frenzy Farm and finish top 25. You can just do solo for that one, land there, hide in like the corn if you really want to, and you'll probably get there in no time. Nothing too complicated. And then finally, deal damage to opponents at the authority. Again, go into solo, land there, deal your damage as much as you can, may take a few games. But since you're doing it in solo, again, there's going to be a lot of people landing there. You could also do squads if you want. However, Team Rumble is going to be very tough for this, unless the circle ends up at the authority. But honestly, just do solo. Or actually, squads will probably be better, because you can deal the damage to knock somebody, and then deal another 100 while they are knocked to get 200 total damage from one person. So yeah, be sure to try that out. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now, such as going over more free rewards. Definitely check that one out. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.